नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण रेवरिंग एक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्स ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव कर्म योगा एक्शन इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ श्रीमद भगवद गीता एक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री शक्कर नोती हैव यह सोडूम प्राक शरीर विमोक्षणात काम क्रोधो द भवम वेगम स युक्त स सुखी नर बिफोर गिविंग अप दिस प्रेजेंट बॉडी इफ वन इज एबल टू टॉलरेट द अर्जेस ऑफ द मटेरियल सेंसेस एंड चेक द फोर्स ऑफ डिजायर एंड एंगर ही इज वेल सिचुएटेड एंड इज हैप्पी इन दिस वर्ल्ड इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू मेक स्टडी प्रोग्रेस ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन ही मस्ट ट्राई टू कंट्रोल द फोर्सेज ऑफ द मटेरियल सेंसेस there are the forces of talk forces of anger forces of mind forces of the stomach forces of the genitals and forces of the tongue one who is able to control the forces of all these different senses and the mind is called goswami or swami such goswamis live strictly control lives and forego altogether the forces of the senses material desires when unsatiated generate anger and thus the mind eyes and chest become agitated therefore one must practice to control them before one gives this material body one who can do this is understood to be self realized and is thus happy in the state of self realization it is the duty of the transcendentalist to try strenuously to control desire and anger टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर यो अंत सुखो अंत रारामस्त थानत जरयो तिरे व यह स योगी ब्रह्म निर्वाणम ब्रह्म भूतो अधिगछति वन हुज हैपीनेस इज विद इन हु इज एक्टिव एंड रिजॉइस इज विद इन and whose aim is inward is actually the perfect mystic he is liberated in the supreme and ultimately he attains the supreme unless one is able to relish happiness from within how can one retire from the external engagements meant for deriving superficial happiness a liberated person enjoys happiness by factual experience he can therefore sit silently at any place and enjoy the activities of life from within such a liberated person no longer desires external material happiness this state is called brahma bhuto attaining which one is assured of going back to godhead back to home text 25 labhante brahma nirvana mrusha yah kshina kalma shah chinna dvaidha yatatmanah sarva bhuta hite ratah those who are beyond the dualities that arise from doubts whose minds are engaged within who are always busy working for the welfare of all living entities and who are free from all sins achieve liberation in the supreme only a person who is fully in krishna's consciousness can be said to be engaged in welfare work for all living entities when a person is actually in the knowledge that krishna is the fountain head of everything then when he acts in that spirit he acts for everyone the sufferings of humanity are due to forgetfulness of krishna as the supreme enjoyer the supreme proprietor and the supreme friend therefore to act to revive this consciousness within the entire human society is the highest welfare work one cannot be engaged in such first class welfare work without being liberated in the supreme a krishna conscious person has no doubt about the supremacy of krishna he has no doubt because he is completely freed from all sins this is the state of divine love a person engaged only in ministering to the physical welfare of human society cannot factually help anyone temporary relief of the external body and the mind is not satisfactory the real cause of one's difficulties in the heart struggle for life may be found in one's forgetfulness of his relationship with the supreme lord when a man is fully conscious of his relationship with krishna he is actually a liberated soul although he may be in the material tabernacle thank you